Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to God of Weapons. Before we start, I just want to say that I have been in kind of a bunk the past few days, like probably five or six days, and I haven't felt that great, and my videos may have reflected that, but I am feeling fantastic right now, and positivity is flowing, so let's see if we can convert that into a win with lo what looks like to be a very frustrating character, and that is the Field Keeper, who has 10 range. You can only use pole arms. Um not really what you want to be all attack all weapons use the attack speed of the slowest weapon which also seems very bad but but polearm weapons gain uh plus one damage for every 75 enemy kills so we want extra enemies uh we probably want attack speed uh what are our choices here move speed 100 armor when not moving i never even looked at this before um Yes. Uh, not 100 armor, 100% armor. There's a big difference. Or we could go after the attack speed bonus. We could be like a move speed field keep. You know what? Let's try that. It's only called it takes one slot. And then wait. OK, wait, wait, I, we got to back up. Can only use pole arm weapon, right? Right. Um, Dual sword. Hello? <laughs> uh, color me confused. So, I mean, Scythe is the obvious choice, right? We're going to go difficulty five. Of course, we are the field keeper. Let's go keep the field. All right, somebody's going to have to tell me what the lore is on field keeper. I don't really understand what it's supposed to be. Also, it is time for damage numbers and high camera. But um, yeah, what is a field keepers? I, I would think that's someone who's like, you know, taking care of some sort of like land, right? Maybe maintaining the grass on like a football field. You know, not necessarily, I don't know, maybe like a granary or something. All right, uh, anyway. That aside, let us take another Crimson Scythe because I feel like that is what we're going to be doing here uh, pretty easily. This goes here. So all weapons use the attack speed of the slowest weapon, which sadly means this actually gets nerfed to this, even though it's about the same. Um... Adjacent weapons gain attack speed for each movement speed. So movement speed's good. We obviously take whetstone because it's broken in half. I don't really care about these other pole arms. I do want another crimson scythe. All right, game. Okay, is this just a thumbnail for my video? It's just this this shop. The hell is this? I'm not even gonna lock the scythe anymore. Let's just roll. I'll take resource master. I would or take uh, scroll of mastery, not resource mastery. And dice. I'm really just trying to find like all the early game good stuff we can get. Another pair of dice or a single set of dice. Um, wow, only having pole arms in the shop is wild. So yeah, you can start with a dual sword if you so choose. Guess we'll take the handle wrap, whatever. Which is interesting, right? Because you can't purchase another one, but unlike, you know, you know, the potato comparison or other games where you can combine weapons, that's not necessarily bad. And then you get the bonus attack speed while you're standing still. So you could make a Conqueror's Flag build, start with Dual Sword, get Halberds and just stand still. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, I mean, obviously, I have chosen the Crimson Scythe path here. And we're going to continue that uh, by purchasing another one right about now. Oh, we may have a problem, though. The horseshoe has to touch everything. Shit. <laughs> the horseshoe's terrible. 
Oh, I goofed. Um, all right, whatever. Yeah, the problem is it. I, I could probably make it touch all three. They're five long and we have five here, so we could loop two around. Have it touch one of now. Yeah, I could probably make it happen, but it's just kind of cursed right now. It's fine. My strategy at the moment is just take a bunch of luck. Um, if you can't already tell what's happening here. And um, profit from all the luck. I mean, honestly... We could just sell the, we could just sell the relic. It, it is what it is. We don't need it to win. Um, this characters. The positives are interesting for sure. Maybe the joke is you just want to use like one or two weapons and go crazy. Uh, that's a. Okay. All right. Um. Wow. That is an early, early trident. But I mean, that is why we took all the luck, right? All right, I have a long term idea. What if. The horseshoe is in the center and we have. Four pole arms around it. That seems insane. We could drop. A crimson scythe. How many slots do we have? We want to. We have six. We have seven slots. This thing takes um, seven spaces. Seven spaces in a row. Which the only we only have three rows for that. Which means it's basically not fitting right now. So. Because it is not fitting. We will. Uh, we will purchase other things and we will get the trident next time. As we fill up our inventory. Um, yeah, so my thinking is we put the horseshoe in the very middle and then we surround it on all four sides with pole arms and then we just have four pole arms as our like that's our weapons maybe like i don't know the trident and three crimson scythes maybe something else okay so we need we need space right for this so we could just get these four that's probably the easiest way to do it. And now. It doesn't quite work. Because what I want to do is I would like to flip this around and just have it like right here, but obviously that doesn't do anything. If I could get it here. Uh. No, that doesn't work either. Let's say it was here, right? No, we still don't quite have the space. Uh, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Um, second trident. Okay. Well, that's a little bit interesting. Thunder Spear, Tier 2 Scythe. Okay, I kind of want the Tier 2 Scythe. Let's do this. This and get this trident and then we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I, I guess we are more likely to find tridents, right? One thing that's cool about this character 
I'm thinking is that if you want to play like an all Thunder Spear beard, uh, beard build, uh, this guy could really do it like pretty easily because you're just offered it so much more often than the other stuff. Uh, I have a feeling that this this trident is going to get a lot of damage from the amount of kills it's going to get. Like just on that way, well, we can't quite look yet. Um, clear up some space here. It got 71 kills that wave. Like that's ridiculous. Let's see. I mean, also, we have no move speed, so this actually isn't doing anything yet. We could remove this Crimson Scythe. Just for the other pole arm. It kind of makes sense to me. I mean, that looks really good. Um, more enemies, less move speed. That's not really what we're trying to do. Um, tier three. Yeah. And until we have enough space to, if we could put a row over here, then that'll be the four and we could just do it that way. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. What if we just took more dice again? And a burnt coin and uh, items. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. I'm not even really concerned a little bit. We are the Trident Master. Call me Neptune. So, like, I, I, I barely uh, I wouldn't say I'm part of a, like the power scaling community, but I'm an observe. I'm like a lurker in that community, right? Especially with that, like anime and comic books and stuff. In the Little Mermaid, how come Neptune doesn't know diff Ursula? Like, just let's 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 have a conversation in 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 the comments, like. Is there a reason for that? Um, we have five spaces. We can go. You know what we could do? I've just had a thought. What if instead of doing whatever I thought I was going to do um, with this horseshoe. We we just we just keep buying tier four tridents. And then um, we could take a turtle shell. Turtle shell is pretty good. Like 10 armor is a lot of armor. And then a tier four spear. Uh, we don't. I don't feel like I really need a spear. If I'm being honest, I feel like that's uh, a little unnecessary. Okay, dice. Dice is just dice set is strictly better than regular dice. And then yeah, we'll just go on. Okay. Well, the all trident build is something we're going to need to get some attack speed and like some damaging stuff at some point. But right now we're just like reveling in our trident powers. Do we have iframes while dashing? I still haven't figured that out. I don't feel like we do, but it uh, my thought is, if you don't have iframes while dashing, then wouldn't it be kind of cool if there was an item that gave you that? If you do, then um, I don't know how to clarify it. I don't think we really need a Thunder Spear. I 
I do want lifesteal gloves. I don't want less luck. I will take a red gem, even though our crit chance is not really like exciting at the moment. It it becomes exciting very quickly. We'll roll one more, roll one more time. We get attack speed and dodge chance. Sure. Sure. Okay, if anyone wants to tell me that luck isn't the best stat after this run, I don't know what to tell you. Like... Yeah, I don't know. So, here's one of the things I'll say about balance in this game, and comparatively to Brutato, which is the game I've spent most time in, in this genre. Um, the tier 4 items in Brotato have significantly more negative effects than the tier 4 items in this game. To the point where you don't really want all the tier 4 items in Brotato, if it's not fitting your build. In this game, um, the tier 4 items are extremely powerful with very little side effects. Which is cool, of course. The downside of that being, of course, that um, I'm just I, I'm just taking this so we have more life steal. Um, the downside of that, of course, being if I can get a word out right now. that there's a little less balance, you know? Um, let's get the lantern, of course. We don't really need the range, but I do want the extra enemies. So our percent damage is non-existent right now. Our melee damage is low. There's a lot of things that are low right now. We have no armor, no recovery, no revival. Um, no move speed, no percent damage. It, I mean, look, we have a lot of things not going for us here, but we also are just sitting on top tier weapons already. Maybe I should have gotten a spear to have like a a pokey weapon because right now, well, we, I mean, we have the trident. Just things are kind of like sneaking inside. I guess it's because our attack speed isn't good. I mean, I'm not even opposed at some point to just getting rid of the crimson scythe and going all tridents if we can manage it. But we actually have to, you know have the lifesteal and whatnot to pull that off. Just keep making rows like this. Um, I Yeah, I'll take a dice set. Absolutely. Oh, look, see, look, look what we found here. We now have 60 HP, but we have 50% damage. So, um, yep. Oh, hey, a deck of cards. It's just the upgrade. We can Crimson Scythe upgrade here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like. This thing already has extra damage from the kills. OK, this Scythe got. That was a really awkward series of events. And there's a straight up tier four spear. I am tempted to take to lock this. I actually think I'm going to. And the reason I'm going to lock it is because. Um, if we find a war drum, that's the like, that's the type of thing that can make for a crazy build. if we end up in a war drum build, which I haven't really gotten to do, but it would be cool. All right, let's watch out. There's an elite. We don't have any armor. We don't really have any dodge. We're kind of a glass cannon right now. Ugh. A glass cannon that shoots tridents from the sky.
I feel like we're doing a bad job of like keeping the field clean though, right? I feel like we're littering constantly at the moment. I think we need some attack speed. I think that's where we're a little lacking at the moment. All right, let's just go up here. Take this. That is a Alberto. I don't think I want that one, though. All right, what, what do we have for like special items? Give me some. Give me some sauce here. OK, a tier four Thunder Spear. I mean, we do have three enchanted things. This would be four. This is 77. It does do quite a bit more damage than that spear. Let, I'm going to lock it. Come back to it later. We have 15% dodge chance. That could increase. Um, yeah, actually, that seems fine. I don't love getting rid of a whetstone here, but I think I'm going to. I can also take a bracer temporarily. Okay. Spearhead comes in for a dice set. These, these are all things. Oh, Ritual Doll, but Ritual Doll with. Oh. With no. Um. You know. No revives is a little sketch. Oh, well, it's fine. I, I think we're, we're going to be OK here. Also, we got that spear now that's going to hit from like literally a mile away. And we're actually hitting things a mile away while things are within a mile that are getting to us, but that's all right. Full on Trident Field Keeper. Yeah, we just need like some pocket watches or something. We could also like sell some of these things. We have so many weapons and honestly, they're getting they're like bearing our inventory right now. Which may be a bigger problem than anything else. Look at that free level we just got. Um, five spaces. Another trident, you say. Oh, but also the Thunder Spear. OK. But also a trident, but also this. Um, I do kind of want it. <laughs> Being honest, Masterwork Arrow doesn't do anything. Poison Vial, not right now. Runebound Crystal is also a not right now. Hourglass isn't unreasonable. <laughs> this horseshoe is doing nothing. Less than nothing. And then there's a Brave Spirit. But we also have no move speed already to begin with. All right, let's let that try to roll. OK, we need we need this pocket watch. It's important. Um, by that logic, we also kind of we kind of need this lifesteal glove. Let's, I think we can handle this next floor with what we have right here. We just have to make sure we don't accidentally get slimed or something real here real quick here at the beginning we should have more than enough lifesteal to 
recover. Yeah, this is weird. Normally, I would not be using this many big weapons, but I, they they just keep throwing them at me at high tiers. It's like, okay, I guess so. I guess we're doing it. Our XP percentage is really good. If you don't know what XP percentage is, um, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but what it appears to be is the effect, like, assuming that you defeat every monster as it appears on the screen the second it does, you would be maximizing your XP gain so you'd get 100%. Uh, so the closer you are to 100% means the more the closer you are to maximizing the amount of XP you get from monster like uh, uh, like bloat and whatnot, getting them to respawn. Uh, uh, Thunder's flag. It's, it's a thing. Huh. Well. <sighs> I'm not not taking another trident. Storm I okay, well. <laughs> well, that does that. Alright. Uh horseshoe, get out. Just get out. You're done. Appreciate you showing up. 40 range doesn't really help us any. Dragon Blood Elixir, give me something. Move speed. That was the one I didn't want. Thank you, game. Appreciate you. Looking out. All right, Wardrum. We have one, two, three, four, five. Does it lower our damage or raise our damage? It lowers our damage. But, but wait, wait, wait. If we were to pull this dice out, damage goes up. All right, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to do something a little wacky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, we're, we're just going to use... We're just going to use big items here. Uh, Tier 3 and below. So we just want Tier 4 items as best we can. We do need luck to get that. Unfortunately, is the only downside. Uh, we could take. I'm gonna drop this miniature lantern just to have the cards. Yep. 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 All right. This is this is what I'm talking about. Look at all these bull arms. So the thing is, we could die really easily. Um. We don't have much life, our armor, or anything, but also we just are a murder machine. I do think we got weaker at that shop, uh, but it's more of like a temporary thing because we're going to be sitting on a bunch of war drums is my plan here. I guess we do also have dodge as a stat, so that's not bad. I do also really love the green cloak. It gives me Dr. Doom vibes, and Dr. Doom is sweet. Best villain? Probably. Like, beyond, besides Darth Vader, probably the best villain. Okay. Now. This is gone. This is in. Um... Lice steel gloves are gone. Uh, this pole arm's in. We can. Oh, sell this. This is in. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a. 
this is an inventory. Oh wait, I gotta pull those down. I'm not. I'm about to do everyone uh, who watches this channel a huge favor, because y'all know me and how I am with my uh, inventory management, and obviously not necessarily happy about it all the time. But um, today, today we're cooking. It's not perfect yet. Oh, that's not going to fit there. Okay. Wait, we don't, we're, we're going to get it. Um, No brave spirit. I mean, if it's not... <laughs> if it's not tier 4, I don't want it, but uh, that's tier 4. Alright, well... Well, hmm. this is an interesting strategy. I've not tried war drum before. But if we could get like another couple war drums, I could see this going kind of crazy. I think man, it's already kind of going crazy. I mean, we do have the Vampire Helm plus or the Crown plus a Storm Eye, so that's nice too. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe at this point we want a fan as well for standstill. So many tridents. So many tridents. Um, I will clean up those spaces. We're going to smooth this down and go boop. And we just get five damage. Because why not? Although we actually want to switch that to here because now our lifesteal goes crazy. 10% lifesteal. Um, oh, minus touch. I kind of want it if it's minus 3% damage, whatever. Another, another scythe. Okay. We're going to let, we're going to let those slip. Ooh, bloody teeth. We still, okay. Here's the deal. We have 25% dodge. We have no armor and we have 58 max HP. We could take a bloody tooth. Going into next wave, we could also die doing it. We could sell the ritual doll. And. Sell a single deck of cards. OK, I've. I've I have convinced myself. That we are going to just go crazy here. It's going to get us some armor because there should be three elites. I don't imagine they're going to be surviving very long. Picking up that inv invincibility there made me feel a little bit better. Also, we have basically attack from full screen. So, I mean, that's nice. I feel like there's something weird going on with like actual level ups too, because it feels very inconsistent the amount of XP you gain. I feel like elite should give more XP. I don't know. There's definitely some background stuff going on that's not quite as obvious as I would like, but. Maybe I'm just supposed to be picking up stuff instead of letting it come to me later on. Anyways, um, well. We still have 20 luck. That is a another one. Because why wouldn't it be? This, this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. 
Oh no, you're in the way. All right, pocket watch has to go. I rerolled. No. No, that's so bad. All right, it's fine. We're, we're gonna find another one. Okay, liar. Liar is pretty. Liar is pretty nice here. It's not the same, but it works. Um, it's also a turtle shell, which is kind of something we're in in the in the market for. Yeah, I definitely wanted another trident there, but whatever. Thunder Spear is fine. He tried. Is this the intended way to play Field Keeper? Also, I totally forgot to check what the Field Keeper unlock condition was, and... I'll be honest, I have no clue what it could be. Um, what haven't we done? I guess I'll see after the run, and I'll just have to do it off, like, on my downtime. But, yeah, I, I don't think it'll be a problem. We are... We are dominating. This is, like, the most weapon-heavy build I've had, too. Continue leveling out the area. I will take the turtle shell. Uh, dust. Um. So it, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it would fit right there. Um. Let's just lock it. I would, I would, like, an elixir. Stop giving me movement speed. Come on. Mm. Cup. Cup is kind of like, whatever. Take a spear. Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, maybe we don't need that. And it rolls into another one. And another one, and... How much better is Thunder Spear than just Spear? It's like noticeably. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. I guess we unlock it. It's probably fine. Um, well, we do have our revive now, so I feel a little bit safer. I mean, we also just do it. Not like the most damage I've ever done, for sure, but also we attack from so far away. We can probably just stand in this corner and nothing's getting anywhere near us. That turned out to be true, huh? Nothing even remotely close. It would seem. No, not even, not even a little bit. Um, Anvil. Anvil, hilariously not useful here oh dust dust is nice um this and this and this and move this here and go up like that because who doesn't need another another tier four weapon is wardrum unique i feel like it might be oh that's kind of disgusting all right Sell this. Uh, 
awkward. Okay, I guess it's time to like clean up this inventory just a little bit. Just just a tad here. Oh, that doesn't work. This goes here, this comes here. These guys can fit like that. Although they actually would do better. Eh. It, it, they are better served being like adjacent to pole arms, so maybe it should be over one, like so. And then... Oh, but no, wait, wait, no, we gotta go down. <laughs> we have to go down. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. All right, deck of, deck of cards, get out of here. get in and then we have this liar that has to find its way in and then we have this other spear which might just be on its way out honestly what's it even doing yeah i'm gonna pull Trying to make this fit nicely here. Um, there's a three spot right here. We only have one one though. That's kind of the awkward thing. I'm sure y'all are like screaming at me like it's so obvious, Jeff. It's so obvious. I mean, probably, but also. But also maybe not so obvious to me. <laughs> Ah, where does it go? Okay, Storm Eye goes here. Then we have three. Okay, what if... It just feels like we're just missing... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this, and we're going to find another dust. That's not the right dust! I'm going to buy it, though. No dust. Okay. Okay, how does one solve this puzzle? What if we were more efficient with our pull arm situation? Like, gotta, gotta creep everything over so slowly. Um, no, it's still kind of funky here. Can these guys fit vertically? No. I did. I did it. I'm not really sure how, but I did it. This is an inventory. All oh, these things are like not touching. That's okay. Hold up. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen pole arms in our inventory. That's kind of dumb. Um, whatever. You know. We're really making use of that war drum. It's 
Stop firing at me. I like how every Dragon Blood Elixir has given us movement speed as well, which has made our Storm Eye significantly worse. It's terrible. Just terrible. Can't, be can't believe what I did to deserve that. It's so unjust. Um. Yeah, that's that was a decent floor. That spot. I'm just like take those. I don't really know what we're after here. I mean, yeah. yeah. I am not going to take a cube for like the first time. Attack speed, melee power could use some help for sure. That is a trident. That is a tier four trident. Dust. Not quite enough space. OK, floor 19. Yeah, really all we're missing is just like some melee power. So if we find some in the next shop, probably take it. Even if we lose a little bit of percent damage, it doesn't actually matter, right? It's so weird because I feel like I just want whetstone. I feel like I think in the upper tiers, there's not, especially tier four, there's not enough items that affect uh, magic projectile and melee power. Well, I mean, I guess projectile has the masterwork arrow, which is insane. Magic doesn't really have anything in tier four. I don't think melee does either. So there, there's like, I feel like there's some gaps in like build defining items that need to be, you know, looked at in future updates but um you know we can only we can only ask for so much from a game um sure I and mean, obviously i'm gonna take this whatever mystical skulls like bleh Remail it. I literally would rather just have. <laughs> I would rather just have melee damage. Mystical finger. Thank you for coming to the party. Could also syringe for some crit chance, but we're kind of past the crit build thing. Another mystical finger. Nice. Nice. Um, what do we do with our last? Oh, we can also sell bloody teeth here. Not that it's going to matter because we don't have money to do any of this. I guess we take lifesteal gloves. And this is just our build. It's pretty nice. I think I think it's fine. All right. Well, good luck, Zor or Zur Zul. I don't remember what your name is. Um, we didn't even sell the bloody teeth. Look at all them tridents. Oh, we did some damage there. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Win a run with all Lancer aspects. We did. We did do that. Uh, this is a pretty inventory. OK, let's see what we were supposed to actually do. 
reach 100 range. Wow. I definitely passed a malevolent observer. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get it sometime. That's pretty easy to pick up. Well, field keeper is done. That was sick. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I think next time it's. Um, is it Duelist Scout or we're going to uh, Beggar? I don't know. Or we could go back to Hunter. We've still got Ranger and Hunter to do. So plenty of options. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to do YouTube stuff like like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I said that a few seconds ago. My memory is that of a goldfish. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Jeff out. Bye.